If you want to be Barbie for Halloween and get those doll-like eyes and that perfect plastic skin, here's how I transformed into her. I'm starting with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer so everything stays on all night, then going in with a yellow color corrector to even out my skin tone around my mouth to get that base all the same color, then I'm setting that with loose setting powder so I can layer on top. I love L'Oreal True Match Foundation because shade W7 is the perfect match for my skin and undertones, which is hard for me to find, and it's also buildable for more coverage if you want. Then Tarte Shape Tape is great for brightening under eyes and also highlighting, and we really wanted to find our highlight and shadows for the perfect doll look, and I'm setting the under eyes with my Ofra Banana Powder that I've hit pans so hard on that I struggle to get any out. Then I contour to make those cheekbones pop and round out your forehead like a perfect Barbie shape. Then I'm rounding out my jawline a little since mine are sharper than the narrow V she has and giving myself a skinny Barbie nose. This MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Heat Index is the perfect pink for this look and has a nice creamy texture that helps plastic up my skin. Then make sure everything's blended well because we never see Barbie lacking, so it is not the time. Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray yourself to lock in all of your work, and I love fanning it dry. It's like my favorite part of makeup. And then I'm setting everything with a powder, which makes it last longer and gives a blurring effect. But then to make it look plastic on top of that, I use the Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer in Venus, which gives a beautiful sheen to the skin, and putting that on my cheekbones and making sure to blend it out well and adding a little bit to my nose. Then it's time for brows, and I normally do more of a soap brow, but Barbie is not with the current brow trend, so I'm going going to do a perfect and neat little arch and some brow gel. I'm priming my lids for a nice base color and to grip the shadows better, then putting a matte pink all over my lids, my lash line, and then blending it out. Then I'm using a neon pink to define the crease a little bit more, and then a shadow that adds a frosty shimmery pink on top and in the inner corner, and a matte light peachy pink is a good highlight that keeps with the same color palette, and then a shimmery shade on top helps add more highlight. Black liquid liner is what's going to really shape your eye, so I'm doing a thick wing and adding some semi-dramatic lashes on top and white eyeliner on my bottom waterline to make my eyes look bigger and more doll-like, and it really makes the biggest difference, so don't skip this step. Cover the lash glue with the liner and then define your lower lashes with some mascara. I'm using a nude lip liner to define my lips and the perfect Barbie pink lipstick is Max No Photos and I'm blending that into the liner then finishing off the look with cute pink clips just because and this is the final Barbie look. Find the cutest pink outfit you have, extra points for any sparkle and enjoy your night knowing that this makeup will last all day even with the plastic skin effect and make sure to greet all the girlies in pink with a classic Hi Barbie!